Well, the assassination attempt and investigation has thrust the shooter's hometown into an uncomfortable spotlight. Colton Molesky spoke to people who live there about the attack and what some people want to see happen next. This is the home where Thomas Crooks lived. It's on Milford Drive. That's in Bethel Park. It's a suburb south of Pittsburgh. It's very much small town middle America feels in this area, and it's shocked a lot of people who live here. And now they're hoping that this event brings people together versus the divide they've seen across the country for the last few years. I would hope that there would be a united um, factor in this, but I don't believe it's going to happen. After the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump, the small town of Bethel Park, now the center of the investigation. Anybody People like else? Melanie who live here still in shock. The accused shooter is from their tiny town. But when we found out it was in Bethel, it was awful, awful, just unbelievable. Thomas Crooks lived with his parents in this quiet rolling neighborhood south of Pittsburgh, about an hour and a half from Butler. Now the swarm of media putting the quiet town in the international spotlight, something Melanie hopes goes away soon. I do feel bad. I do feel bad, and, and I feel bad for the people in this, you know, directly affected in this community. Sad. It's sad. People just want to live their lives. All the more alarming is how unexpected this all seems for those who did know Crooks. He graduated from Bethel Park High School in 2022. By all reports, he was a quiet high school student who was a bit of an outcast. More recently, Crooks worked as a dietary aide at Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Facility, less than a mile from where he lived. Law enforcement traced the AR-style gun he used in the attempted assassination, which is how Crooks was identified since he was not carrying an ID on Saturday. It's a moment people like Melanie will never forget. It was de devastating. It was disturbing. When I saw what happened to President Trump, I immediately went to my knees. My family was watching it live. We went to our knees and started praying. Now, everyone who has talked from former co-workers, former classmates, law enforcement, neighbors, the big question right now is why? What motivated this attack? It's something that really we haven't had an answer from. At least we haven't had a reported answer to the why. And based on what we're hearing from the latest on the investigation, something that law enforcement is still looking for. In Bethel Park, Colt Molesky, 19 News. And we'll have continuing coverage of the assassination attempt on former President Trump. Coming up, we're taking a look at Trump's new running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, and reaction to his nomination. And of course, any new details, we'll bring it to you on air and online.